All right, guys. So here we have a spreadsheet. And for you guys, it's going to be a blank spreadsheet. And what I've done is I've entered over here the eight different choices that I gave you guys in the survey. And these are eight different things that you could have chosen. Now, I'm going to uh, have you guys entering those choices, and you're also going to enter the number of people that chose each thing. So there were 12 people that chose video games, three chose watching TV, five chose eating, three chose taking walks, zero chose online schooling, that's okay, five chose video chatting, three playing with siblings, and then four said other. So it didn't really fit into any of those different categories. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we can make a graph from this. Now, one thing you may notice is all the graphs we've been looking at so far have been line graphs. Um, the reason for that is because the horizontal axis along the bottom, the X axis, has always been measuring time. And usually when we graph something over time, we use a line graph, uh, the best type of graph over time. Um, you'll notice uh, we Tom's graph was over the course of seconds. Uh, the graph we did on Monday, uh, sorry, yesterday, with um, me gaining weight was over the course of weeks, so over time. This is just a survey, so we're going to use a different type of graph. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, again, we're going to highlight all of our information. You're going to go to the top. You're going to click Insert and then Chart. Now, a different type of chart is going to come up here, uh, most likely when you do this. And the type of chart that's going to come up is going to be this really colorful, uh, cool looking one. I'll bring it over a little bit. And this is called a pie chart. Um, the cool thing about a pie chart is that when you're looking at a pie chart, it's really easy to tell which things were chosen the most. For example, this whole big blue section over here is video games. Notice this has 34.3%. Uh, it's based out of that whole pie chart. It's based out of 100%. So that's about one third of people said video games about it's actually a little bit more than one third we're actually not going to use this chart but uh, you can kind of experiment with this a little bit and look at it because it's uh it, it's kind of really cool um but what we're going to do is we're going to go up here where it says pie chart and we're going to click on the arrow and we're going to go down to this one right here and actually uh either, either of these would be fine but we're going to look at this one uh that says column chart and you're going to click on it and it's going to make it into a really nice bar graph for us uh, you'll notice it's easy to tell which ones were the most, which ones were the least, and it's kind of nice because over here it tells us how many students chose each of those. Now, one thing to remember is uh, the other day we talked about uh, customizing, and it's important to add titles so that we know what it's measuring. So I click Customize, Charts and Titles. I'm going to go to Chart Title, and I'm going to put Favorite Activities. Um, so there's my title. I'm going to center it so it looks a little nicer. And then I'm going to also want to put my titles on my horizontal axis, which is down on the bottom, and also my vertical axis. If you can't think of what titles to put, well, think of what we're showing at the bottom. Those are different activities. Uh, think of along the vertical axis. That's how many students, the number of students. Um, and you're going to get a really, uh, a really good chart from this. Now, from this, you can also start to think about um, what was the average uh, number of kids that, uh, that chose each thing. To find that, you would just have to add up all the different people that chose and divide by however many choices. And that would tell us what's the average number of kids uh, for each one. You'll notice uh, the range here is quite large because I had 12 students choose video games. I had no students choose online school. So that's a difference of 12 uh, in, in terms of choices. There are 12 different uh, people that chose video games, none that chose online schooling. You also notice that uh, since the range is really big, it's going to affect the average number of people because we kind of have two outliers. We have our video games and we have our online schooling. Those two things are outliers. Therefore, they're going to kind of mess with our, our range is going to be really big and it's going to make our median uh, a, a little less reliable is something to think about. So I want you to make this chart. Make sure you get all of your chart titles on. Um, and if you want to, while you're in here a little bit, check out some of these other types of charts. If you click here, you can see some of these other ones. Like, for example, if you wanted to see what this chart looks like, pretty similar. It's just sideways. Um, but there's some other choices in here that you can look at. 
one more thing uh, while I'm thinking about it. There were a couple people that said they clicked off the chart and they couldn't figure out how to get that menu back up. You just click back on the chart, uh, double click it, comes right back up. So uh, that may be something that you think about too. So uh, make your bar graph and uh, make sure you turn that in for me in Google Classroom.